Thank you, Herman. Good to have you back. Thank you for giving us that insight into Action Essay's development and growth and continued growth. Uh, the obvious question that we got to start with is, what did you think of Gayton McKenzie's speech? You featured a few times. And mm. my goodness, I've I've never had a speech like that before. I mean, it's, um, it was riveting. It is, uh, and it's still true. Huh? It uh, what what is actually quite said about it is because it is really so true. Um, I'm I'm a I'm a casualty of of the madness that uh, uh, he spoke about. I'm a casualty of that. But I've moved on uh, in 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 my life and. Uh, now ended up now running a political party, capitalist like me with the job that I hate. I'm running a political party, ma- managing, really fighting to to keep the ANC out. Uh, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, it, uh, if not all, most of the things that he said are, are true. Uh, if you're serious about uh, the removal of ANC, like I'm committed to, um, we need to really respect uh, our coalition partners. If you look at... Um, when I was the mayor for three years in, in the city of Johannesburg, for three years, Johannesburg was the, one of the most stable, was the most stable, not one, was the stable coalition until my own party connived with the ANC to remove me. Then I got to know about it before they removed me, and then I decided to walk. I said, what, 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 uh, what, 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 what is the point? But I'm still determined and committed to, to unseating the ANC uh, and do it democratically. We are not going to do it by getting the Russians to give us AK-47s. We are going to mobilize South Africans to go, go out, come out in the numbers to, to vote because come 2020-2024, we, we still have ANC government in power. I'm telling you, this country is gone. We've got to run where I don't know because majority of the people in this country can't swim. And we don't have, uh, I mean, you can imagine how do we swim to, because we're not going to go to... Uh, we, the only place we can run to is Mauritius, and the uh, majority of our people can't swim. And, and even those who can swim, I can imagine, I mean, how uh, are we going to swim to, to Mauritius? And Zimbabwe, somewhere, I actually, in the mid-90s, I wanted to, uh, to, to move to Zimbabwe before Mr. Robert Mugabe got met. Botswana doesn't want us. So I've, do, I've got no choice. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm going to use my privileged position to do whatever it takes to remove the ANC from power. There was quite a lot in what Gayton said, the PA's policies are, which might have resonated with you. And maybe we can start with the death penalty. Well, uh, I've really been really very clear about this unsympathetic. In fact, uh, uh, after the, the uh, uh, you can check Sunday Times, uh, after the adoption of our constitution in, in 1996, I was, I was in business long before I ever thought I would one day go into, into, uh, into business. I'm, I'm a big supporter of, uh, of, um, of the death penalty. And, and I'm not really prepared to for, for so-called um, human rights lawyers and clever people to tell me that uh, the death penalty is not a deterrent. I always use an example to say, tell me, uh, please show me. I want this uh, clever people to tell me someone who killed and we kill him. What's the chance of this person coming back to Someone who rapes <laughs> and I kill you. <laughs> tell me, how can you tell me I mean, honestly, you've got to be stupid to, uh, to, uh, to listen to the clever people to tell you that uh, the death penalty is only deterrent. Because once you've killed and I kill you, there's no way that you're going to come back to, to kill. <laughs> you know? So I'm a strong believer in the death penalty. And that's something that uh, when Action SA goes to our, in, to our uh, policy conference, I'm going to push. But obviously, I think it will be up to the actioners and hope that uh, we can get enough uh, support in parliament to change the laws, uh, uh, to to apply death penalty on first degree murder, first degree murder, rape, um, drug dealers, serious drug uh, dealers. I don't see to why I should, uh, I've got to give this uh, animal, those Western animals, uh, these heinous people, I'm not prepared to give them a second chance. I'm not prepared to spend my hard-earned uh, taxes 
uh, to go and support uh, someone, uh, give them accommodation, give them three meals in a day, three uh, three times a day. When 13, uh, 29 million people that Cyril Ramaphosa is boasting about, we cannot really feed them. You know, South Africa today, 54% of our own people live below the bread line. And you expect me, I must go and feed the, the prisoners. No ways. I'm not prepared to do this. So those people that you kill, like Caden says, I can tell you, if Herman Mashab is the president of this country, I will not hesitate to say, once you've got, obviously, we have proper police and we have uh, uh, proof beyond any reasonable doubt that you've committed uh, this heinous uh, crime, you've killed someone. I can tell you, I will not hesitate uh, that uh, the sooner we take you out, the better. It it, it was it was quite <laughs> quite interesting the, the the points that Gaten was making and the response from the Biz News tribe. The one that was fairly muted was illegal immigrants. He says two days after he's president, there will be no more illegal Ill- immigrants in South Africa to remove, if I understood him correctly the potential for great violence because of the heartfulness of South Africans. He blamed whites to a large degree for the Ill- illegal immigration, immigrants in South Africa. You're quite outspoken on this subject. Have you changed your views? Well, I think uh, to Gaten, uh, with due respect, he knows, I mean, South Africa knows, the world knows. Uh, I'm the one who broke uh, the silence of South Africans uh, with this issue of immigrants. I can give you the date uh, long before Gaten could speak about this. On the 1st of December 2016, uh, when I was giving the uh, 100 days of my uh, tenure as a mayor, uh, uh, during the press conference, I made it really very clear to South Africa that uh, we are sitting with an illegal immigrant problem. But the problem is with, uh, with our government, with this criminal enterprise called ANC and Home Affairs. So we've got to really deal with this. And our constitution is very clear as to who must be in South Africa. I used to do raids when I was the mayor, finding up to 80% of the people in these hijacked buildings being undocumented foreign nationals. And then when you raise this matter, then you are called uh, 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 xenophobic. In fact, uh, and I'm sure you know, the DA still calls me xenophobic after now. But obviously when I was the mayor, they never used to They call me afterwards. ANC went to report me to the South African Human Rights Commission. Uh, and uh, fortunate enough, uh, because I believe in the rule of law, I, I don't know, I really believe that uh, you, 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 you are t- as government you will be able to, to just deport uh, people like that. I think let's follow the constitution. Anyone who comes into this country, you don't have documentation. The constitution is very clear. Let's assess whether you qualify to be in South Africa or not. If not, you send you back. If you qualify, we give you the documentation. If you qualify. But you cannot tell me that uh, you're a refugee at uh, holidays, you go home. Uh, t- some people right, coming from Pakistan, Bangladesh, China, Czech Republic. What kind of nonsense is this? I mean, look at uh, Kresha, the guy that we, we're putting in our prison. Uh, my taxes, you know, I just uh, paid taxes the other day, uh, you know. Twice in in, in this thing. For someone who doesn't do work properly, you know, I don't earn a salary from my, my but, uh, from the from Action SA. They can't afford me, but uh, my wife supports me to, uh, on a monthly basis. Now I must pay money to go and support uh, Kresha. Kresha, we must send him back to Czech Republic. Well, 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 you know, Nigerian people right now, I'm, I'm fighting a case of a Nigerian guy who's in the South Africa illegally. He's involved in hijacking of buildings of South Africans. He's involved in human trafficking. He's involved in prostitution, drugs. He's got the police um, on his payroll. And we are now in something like this. And then when you raise this, some people want to call you xenophobic. If they want, honestly, I'm happy to embrace uh, 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 to wear that uh, that belt. But uh, but at the end of the day, we really follow the constitution of the Republic of You know, listening to you, listening to Gayton, and I'm sure listening to Helen tonight, there's a lot between you that you do agree on. There's a lot between the DA, Action SA, PA. What we do know of the DA, as much as you have your own experience, is they can govern. There's not a question that the Western Cape is well governed relative to the rest of the country. There's not a question that Mgeni, where just down the road here, 
where Chris Pappas is governing, is far better than any other municipality in KZN. My question to you comes from what Simon Lincoln Reader said last night. He said, can't we get an honest broker, get someone you all respect? He suggested Jordan Peterson. To put, who's a psychologist and has written some amazing books, two of them are there, to put you guys in a room, the Rainbow Coalition in a room, and to get the heat out of the system. Because Herman, without the DA, you're not going to remove the ANC. Yeah, but uh, unfortunately, uh, Gaten has already articulated. Unfortunately, I think there's a reason why, practically, I left my successful job to do this difficult job that I hate because uh, I realized it's a, it's a vehicle to remove the ANC. Unfortunately, I don't know what happened to Helen. For as long as Helen is this good, it's, it's impossible. Not it's not difficult, it's impossible. Uh, so I'm not really sure what to do. That's why you see uh, Action SA attracting more and more of DA people because without any doubt, uh, the, we need the DA to really be able to remove the ANC. Uh, but unfortunately, Helen, it's a it's a biggest uh, challenge, which I don't really, I, I've lost hope personally. That's but, not but, so, so I'm not really sure how we must do it. So, so I think uh, maybe, to, to, I don't know, maybe we're not going to church hard enough, uh, uh, you know. But for as long as we've got Helen there uh, in charge, I cannot really see how a miracle is going to happen because, I mean, she was part of the plan uh, with the ANC to remove me um, uh, uh, when I was their mayor. Have you ever spoken to her about that? She's she's spearheaded. Have you ever spoken to her about that? The perception you have may not be reality. It's not a perception, it's a reality. I mean, she's on record. uh, 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 She is on record. uh, and there is no NASCAR people at the IRR. She okay, but, but uh, and I get you. And, there, and uh, to look at now with the coalition arrangement, at the IEC, when the elections were, were, were announced, you know, can imagine how much money she spent um, uh, trying to portray me as a EFF mayor. After, I'm sure you had the ads uh, saying with the biggest joke, we ended up with uh, 44 councillors. We took the ANC in Johannesburg. From 124 councillors current to 91, we took the DA from 140 now to 71. We 44 councillors, and uh, I offered the, this uh, to the DA at the at the IEC, and I said to the ANC, Brother uh, Mantashe approached me. I said to Mr. Mantashe, uh, 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 "I'll call you in 300 years." Uh, I said, "I'll call you in 300 years." I said to the DA, "Please come and talk to us." You know, when uh, Helen, uh, I mean, DS uh, 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 spoke to us a week before the election, the same meeting that um, uh, Gaten spoke about. Uh, okay. And uh, and uh, one on a Friday, the meeting we had a week be- uh, before the, uh, the election of the mayor. We had a meeting on Friday. And Monday was the, the meeting in Johannesburg and in Guru Lene to elect the mayor and, uh, the, and, uh, and the speaker. DS said to us, we uh, Helen was in that meeting. We agreed uh, that uh, they still have to consult uh, their, 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 their FedEx. They'll come back to us Sunday, five o'clock. And Monday, we must go to this thing, uh, to, uh, to elections. We agreed to, to, after persuading them, to say, let's issue a press statement to let South Africa know of what's going to happen on, on Monday. And they ask us not to talk to the media. Saturday morning, just the NS and at a press conference that the DA is going on on their own. They're fielding their own candidates. Tell me, with, in Johannesburg, with 71 uh, councillors, you need 136 to be able to elect the mayor. Uh, John Stein has um, said, without even having the courtesy and the decency to tell us that they're pulling out of uh, negotiations. And I mean, I can uh, give you lots of cases where that's why i'm saying is i'm not really sure and without any doubt without the da we we it's it's going to be to impossible or difficult to transit the anc because the anc well uh, so they're laughing at you because they don't believe in uh, the anc must be laughing at what's going on no because the population according to france Cronier's research the population is saying we're not going to vote because it's a wasted vote because we give it to the opposition parties and the opposition parties are bickering so much. Why bother? Surely there's a responsibility on yourself, on Gaten, on Helen, on Corny Mulder to find common ground if 
you believe, truly believe, that the ANC should be removed? I mean, what, what more? I mean, Gaten put it so nicely earlier on around uh, the having a drug addict in the house. Uh, and and you want to really blame us uh, for but that, that that doesn't that how often did South Africans say to the ANC get rid of Jacob Zuma and the ANC said we're not going to so for you from the outside to say get rid of Helen Zilla and the DA on principle the DA is probably going to say the PA members are probably going to say no way you're not going to tell us who our leader could be I, I'm I'm just trying to do you're a businessman in business you don't like someone, you don't have to do business with them. Easy. In politics, in the system we have, in coalitions, you don't have to like the people, but you have to put, surely, a higher purpose closer, better, in front. Because otherwise, Herman, all I can see, and I'm sure that most rational, sane people look at this and say, well, you know, okay, well, I'll vote for Herman, but I think it's going to be a spoiled vote anyway, because... There's no way without all of those parties lining up that the ANC stroke EFF, which is the alternative, that they're not going to have more than 50%. You know, fortunately enough, our track record speaks for itself. I think we, that's why I'm saying, you know, I believe in ethical leadership. Um, you can imagine DA pulled out of negotiations with us uh, on Saturday without talking to us. But on Monday... I, him, and Mashaba managed uh, to mobilize the support uh, for, for the DA. We voted for the DA without their knowledge. In jo- we put them in the city of Johannesburg, Dukunuleni, Tswane, without their knowledge. When they pulled out, I said, we cannot allow the ANC to really be in, in government. But unfortunately, in the process, Helen at the moment to collapse the, the, almost all of them. But I think Tswane, um, I'm still hopeful that uh, the, we've all learned from this. Uh, yesterday, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it's a, it's a, it's a minor hiccup. We'll, we, we'll, we'll, we'll sort it out. I hope uh, all the, uh, the the parties must take the responsibility because we don't really know of uh, the, the eight or so uh, councillors who voted with, the, with this corrupt, uh, evil ANC yesterday. I think all of us, if we take the responsibility to find out who they are and deal with them harshly, and uh, to mobilize. It's a temporary thing. I'm really still hopeful that uh, we committing as Action as a we want to work with the with the D. We want to work with the Freedom Front Plus. We we had an opportunity to 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 work with uh, Gaten. If if I mean we can really uh, be reasonable, we can take Joburg uh, back. The city of Joburg, uh, the Gaten, we can talk to them. Call that, it, we that. can have it back. But at the end of the day, will the DA support us? So I think I'm, I'm not sure, honestly, what... Okay. In our business lives, in your business life, you attended the Bantla that I used to put together back then. It was only, it was only invita- by invitation only for chief executives. And at one of those Bantlas, there was an incredible war going on between Goldfields and Harmony. Some of you in the room will remember. It was a hostile takeover in South Africa. We didn't have many of those. The chief executive of Harmony and the chief executive of Goldfields at, at the time, Bernard Swanepoel and Ian Cockrell, got into a room as much as they disliked each other and they worked things out. That opened my eyes to the reality of finding compromise. There's a lot of water under that bridge and there's a lot of water under this bridge. But by personalizing an issue, which may or may not be be relevant. You, it, it sounds to me like you're making the whole system based on one person that you and Gate and McKenzie don't like. Surely, no, no, surely, I, no, no. surely, if you guys can get together, liking anyone, uh, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a lived experience. I think. Uh, okay, it's a, it's, it's a lived experience. So it's not a question of uh, how are you going to get how are you going to get South Africans to vote if you carry on bickering like well, uh, we're getting them. <laughs> I, I've just given you facts. Uh, the, what I've given is not is not polls or research. But look at the I poll. Don't... Look at the polls in those by elections. That okay. 50, 60 percent. How are you going to yeah. get the seventy to eighty percent to come out and vote to remove I'll let, this government? Uh, please uh, lo- lo- look at the polls. What they said about us a week before, even up to the week before the the twenty twenty one the local government election, they gave us no chance whatsoever. I've just given you a figure. Uh, with that uh, uh, with uh, the uh, Gaten 
contested the, the whole country, 278 municipalities. I only contested 13 seats. Managed to get 550 votes. Contesting IEC, playing the game with us, uh, refusing to put uh, our, our name on. So we're working them out there to ensure that we get, we're going to get the turnout. But at the end of the day, we want uh, the, 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 the DA to really support us. And really, we, we're quite concerned right now with the utterances that they want to, to go into coalition with a criminal organization. If I look at Gaten McKinsey in terms of criminality and ANC, Gaten is a reformed criminal. He served his term. Right now, ANC is not a criminal enterprise, it's an evil organization. And But you are saying you can't work with uh, Gaten and McKinsey, but you are prepared to work with, with a uh, party that is destroying millions of lives. Okay. Uh, my, so time, that, my time is up. Is, but I'm I, of consent. I must point out that when John Stiernazen was in the business studio last week, I asked him about this on the record. 35,000 people have already seen the video. In that video, he said, we were given a range of options and the least worst option would be to keep the EFF and the ANC out of power because to them, that coalition would be nightmarish. There's a lot of water that's going to go under this bridge in the next year. It's time for the audience participation, please. Can we uh, put our hands up? And try and get new people to have a say. There are a lot of people. Got, uh, this side, Stu, there's quite a few. Would you pass on, please? So I think that's JP over there. Right, let's go. Um, Mr. Mashaba, my name is Shirley. Um, I've been following your journey for some time. Um, and what has drawn me to Action SA is this combined value set around capitalism and free enterprise but equally the accountability for us to rectify the, um, the disparities, to address poverty um, and to rebuild our nation. I've seen, and I've seen you time and time again make decisions. In Sorry, can I have a question please? No grandstanding. Sorry. But having said that, the one thing that puts fear in my heart and um, may cause me to vote differently is around the issue of immigration. My question to you is this. While there are criminals, there are many good men and women who have sought refuge in our country. What will Action SA do to rectify the human rights violations committed by in our neighboring countries against these immigrants so that they can safely go home? Well, I think uh Please uh, look at uh, the launch of uh, Action SA on the 29th of August uh, 2020. Right in the middle of um, COVID, my speech was covered by all the media houses. I made it abundantly clear and I don't apologize to anyone that uh, come 2024, Action SA is in Parliament. We can mobilize uh, enough support uh, to ensure that uh, uh, no ZANU PF has ever set foot in this country of South Africa. No ZANU PF for senior person. And all the money that they've stolen and uh, stashed here in South Africa must be frozen for the people of Zimbabwe. People of Zimbabwe, they'll have the freedom to, to come here. We'll go to Zimbabwe if, they, if ZANU PF allows us. But they will never come here. I'll never have diplomatic relations with, 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 uh, with ZANU PF. I will be part of working with the international community to have free and fair elections in Zimbabwe uh, supervised by international observers. Without that, I will never really have diplomatic ties with Zimbabwe because they're causing us a, a problem here. If you look at the Human Rights uh, Foundations in, in Zimbabwe, and unfortunately it's us South Africans who are paying the price, and the people of Zimbabwe. So the only way I believe I can help people of Zimbabwe and help South Africa is to ensure that I work with the international community to, to uh, put more pressure and openly um, to, for people of Zimbabwe to have free and fair elections supervised by the international community. I, I've, got to, I've got to follow that up. Yesterday, the IEC released donations to political parties. 15 million rand, by far the biggest donation to the ANC, came from Vexelberg's manganese mine. In other words, a very close associate of Putin who has a manganese mine in South Africa. There it is in black and white, 15 million rand, 
was given to the ANC last quarter. What about that situation, BRICS and the and the Russian influence in this country? Well, I think I'm I'm on record. Uh, uh, come 2024, SNSA is part of uh, a multi-party government. Um, I have uh, no issues uh, with China, Russia, and, uh, yeah, and India, and uh, Brazil. But I cannot really see the benefit for South Africa to be part of BRICS. Uh, uh, I will, we will trade with them like all, everyone else. I cannot understand how we can uh, uh, alienate our relationship uh, with the West. I mean, uh, uh, I released a statement uh, last week, uh, Friday, to just landing back from London. I see uh, uh, the, how the, the U.S. House of Representatives uh, would uh, actually be putting legislation in place uh, to review trade relations with South Africa. Relations with South Africa with, uh, uh, the right now, we gain, what, six and a half billion rents in our favor against the United States. Russia, what can they give us? AK-47s, we need AK-47s for what? Thanks, Alec. <clears throat> Just a quick comment. I don't think it's necessary to fly in psychologists from Canada to come and broker this deal. I think we've got some bloody good psychologists in South Africa who can do it. Um, my question is, given your set of values, um, Herman, are you willing to go into a coalition with the EFF, given your set of values? And I just want to motivate why I'm asking you this question, because last year, Helen Ziller shared her set of values, the DA set of values here at this conference. And afterwards, I went to her and I said to her, I'm very concerned about why is it that you can let go of a good man like Herman Mashaba in your party? And, he, and, and I, I reply to that question was, that it was because of a set of values, that with the DA set of values, she cannot allow a leader of the DA to go in coalition with the EFF. Now, rest assured, tonight I'm going to ask her the question, how can she, with uh, the, the DA set of values, enter into coalition talks with the ANC? Because that also doesn't make sense to me. So, just back to my question. Given the the, the set of values that you shared here today, are you willing to go into coalition with the EFF for the sake of removing the ANC from power? Thanks, JP. A, a good question, and I think I'm sure all of you are not really fools. When I became the mayor of the city of Johannesburg uh, in 2016, in August 2016, uh, a few days before uh, uh, Herman Mashaw was elected the mayor of the city of Johannesburg. EFF had a press conference in Alexander. I'm sure you remember that press conference. EFF saying to the DA, we are happy to lend you uh, our, um, um, our vote on condition that you remove this capitalist called uh, Herman Mashaw. And by that time, the DA never said anything because I was not part of the negotiations. I was not on the senior level of the, the, the DA. I only got to know about this problem through uh, the media. Sidi Madia and Stephen Crote is uh, phoning me about, about this. So the, the negotiations with the EFF uh, to, to, to join us and vote with us on an issue-by-issue -issue basis was negotiated by Herman Mashab. I'm on record the very same day Oh, uh, hardly 10 minutes after the, 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 the that press conference, fortunate enough, uh, we, 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 we have uh, so social media. It is there. You can Google. 10 minutes afterwards, I said uh, to Stephen Crutus and uh, Chidi Madia, I said, please, beg the DA to take that offer from the EFF. Uh, for me, being the mayor is the last job in the world I want. But obviously, the DA never acceded to EFF. Then I came on the 3rd of August 20, uh, 2016. EF, without the EFF 30 votes, there was no way that uh, uh, we'd have had a DA government in the city of Johannesburg. But was, was that deal negotiated by Herman Mashabo? Herman Mashabo is on record to say, I cannot. But obviously, with the EFF 30 votes, you needed, you needed, we only had 104 DA councillors. 
you needed 136 to be able to pass budget and, uh, and other major issues. So I committed to ensure that I respect all the coalition partners. The reason why I said Ela on the Johannesburg uh, the municipality or coalition was the most stable because I respected everyone. And one, of, one thing I find really very strange, it's the YDA had problems with me every time I engage on items going to council. I will first brief my caucus and afterwards brief uh, my coalition partners, including the EFF. DA did not want me to consult the EFF. How can I take a budget to 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 uh, to cancel for approval without uh, the thirty votes? Just the courtesy. We that's what we had problems. And fortunate enough, Michael Buman, as wide as you can get, was always what we wrote a book called uh, "Accidental Mayor." It's there for you to buy, read uh, to see the nightmare I had. So. The EFF was the uh, it was the most uh, supportive of uh, my efforts because I believed in social justice. When I went to to provide toilets uh, to informal settlements, I, I will first inform my caucus of the DA and invite them. I'll invite uh, the uh, IFP. I'll invite the 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 the, 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 the F EFF because uh, they needed their votes. DA will not attend uh, events in, in the in, in the townships and informal settlements. And uh end up uh, obviously EFF I'll give all, all the parties an opportunity to speak. That's how I be I was labeled uh, uh, the EFF mayor. I'm on record to look at you any any record that at uh, uh, national level there's no way that uh, uh, Action SA will ever work with the EFF because EFF is a racist party. I don't want anyone to come and debate with me about uh, uh, the, the, the racial po politics. So that's why it is out of the question that Action SA can never work with the EFF at the national level. But at local government level, it's to decide whether you're going to provide toilets and or you're going to tell this particular street. But at national level, it's impossible. I don't want the situation where I must debate whether they're... they're, 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 they're my properties that I own must be owned by the state. What kind of nonsense is that? So it is for that reason it's impossible. And I'm on record on that. The Action SA will never work uh, with, the, with the EFF at national level. But at local government level, it's easy. We'll work, uh, to, we are happy to work with them. But uh, uh, ANC, I will not work with them at all levels of government. Thanks for clarifying. Hello, Lumen, my name is Mark. Thank you for your speech today. I've just got a question. In the event that the ANC don't get a 50% of the vote in 2024, what chance is there of the ANC actually giving up power? And isn't there a link to China and Russia and the, the, the um, relations that they're currently growing even more? Isn't that part of their strategy to actually stay in power? Look, at, I mean, the, the, there's no way ANC will get... Um, but uh, absolute majority. There's no way ANC will get 40%. Uh, in fact, uh, my, my sense, and I'm not a prophet, ANC, they will need their gods because they don't believe in God in the first place. Uh, they will need their gods or their sangomas to get 35% of the votes. So what do we need to really work as South Africans to ensure that between the ANC and EFF, they must not get anywhere close to 50% because we are not only facing the ANC threat, we're facing EFF and ANC relationship. That's why we concern as section as an open loop for that. We've already expressed and conveyed this to the DA that um, are you sure about uh, this whole issue of you where you guys working with the ANC? Because if you are going to work with the ANC come 2024, you dump us. Uh, we, we've got a problem. Please uh, be honest uh, with us. So we believe that there's no way that ANC will will, uh, will get down. Uh, for as long as Action SA is around, no way the ANC will get in. They'll be lucky if they can be in. But, but the, question, the question was, so the ANC gets less than 50%. Are they going to give up power? Well, uh, if uh, they, they they don't have the majority, 
it's not about the ANC, the criminality that they will disrupt. I mean, they disrupted uh, my three years as a mayor of the city of Johannesburg. But ultimately, we we, we get them out because uh, the elections are result uh, announced uh, free and fair. ANC is uh, is below fifty percent. We take over government to ensure that immediately uh, we put the necessary measures in place to make sure that anyone who breaks the law, there are consequences. So I'm, I'm not really scared of uh, the, the criminals. So we can deal with them through the law. We've got the constitution. South Africans are heartful, particularly poor black South Africans are heartful. They don't want to see ANC anywhere near near them. So I honestly, uh, 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 this country is not dependent on ANC to on NC. This country is dependent on the voters. So we've got to get voters to go out there and remove ANC and remove it democratically and not really concern us, ourselves about their criminality. If they want to disrupt the out of government, we'll make sure that uh, we, we put them behind. I think maybe the real question is, do you believe there will be a free and fair election in 2024? Is there a risk of it not being free and fair as we saw in Zimbabwe? No, no, I can tell you, in, in South Africa, the only, uh, if you look at our constitutional framework, our electoral uh, system and act, the only time ANC will state elections in this country, if all of you um, are not going to be active for us as Action SA, always appeal to, to, uh, to, uh, to our people, to our supporters and everyone. Yes, we want your money, but on the day of elections, we want the uh, uh, party agents, party agents who are sharp to ensure that everyone coming to vote, they, they are South Africa, they've got the right to documentation to vote, they are on the voters' roll. You must be there until all the counting is done. There's no way that you can steal South Africa, the South African election. The only time uh, the ANC will steal our election if we give up and, uh, and, and go to church or go and watch a rugby on the day of, of election. But if all of us volunteer to make sure that we are party agents to ensure that at every voting station we've got that uh, we, uh, we, we we've got sharp intelligent people hard working so hard work we started uh, before seven o'clock sometimes you finish uh, at three four five in the morning my wife has been a volunteer uh, yeah, for, for many years I mean uh, she leaves home at, uh, at six in the morning she comes back home at four five in the morning you know it's a it's a hard work but it's a just a really sacrifice for your country for for that day and that's your responsibility if you then leave it to someone else uh, that um, the, someone else will do it I can tell you uh, being party agents and if you are patriots that's one something that you can do for your country. For one day, I don't expect you to really be in the same mud as I am on a daily basis. We are asking you on the day of uh, voting, please, we're looking for party agents to make sure that uh, we can prevent uh, the ANC from actually stealing our election. So you know what you're doing in May 2024, Mark. There's a question here, Stu. Uh, I just want to say something. Uh, thank you, Amin, because I'm going to have to go to my day job now. I just want to say, uh, uh, I mean, thank you so much. You, you, you're a great man, but I also want to say that I am willing, as the leader of the PA, was listening to Herman and listening to you, Alec. The only solution, we cannot have our personal differences with Helen to stop us from talking. We make peace between gangsters all the time. People that families killed each other, and they still find a way to make peace. So I just want to say before I leave from my side, I'm willing to go in a room with Helen Zeller, Ed Mashaba, Mr. Mashaba, Ed Mr. Porney, so that we can find each other no matter how long it takes. And we should leave our personal and our previous insults being thrown at us to put out Africa first. Thank you, Helen. I think we should we should tie you to that desk and uh, and, and force you to do it now, but well, I think, uh, Gaten, before you leave, uh, I, I'm here in front of the world. I, uh, I'm prepared to really commit to that process on behalf of Action SA. Don't go. Hello. Sorry. Hi, my name is Armand. I just want to know a question from uh, my friend behind me. Uh, 
Don't you think a scenario like uh, Zimbabwe is possible after the elections, like uh, MDC is an UPF and uh, the election is stolen? Don't do it with the capture of the police and possibly of the IEC that the, the election would be stolen? I, I think I've already... I think, yeah, I think he has answered that. In South Africa, the system that Herman has outlined is through party agents. So at every single voting station, you have people literally who are there who are watching from all of the political parties. It's one of the checks and balances that has been brought in here. So maybe it can be stolen if suddenly we have electronic votes like they had in Zim. But uh, otherwise, it, it's, it's, it's not possible. It's, it's practically not possible. Next question. Is that right, Herb? Yes, absolutely. They, you can't steal. Uh, the only time ANC will steal our elections if uh, we give up on our country and uh, and uh, give that responsibility to, to someone else. And and I'm appealing to all of you, please, for the love uh, of uh, your dad, of the country, for the future of your children. Just one day, we I mean, train you to really be a party agent is the easiest thing for, uh, for you. Within an hour, I can really uh, uh, take you through a course on what to do to ensure that the ANC does not steal our elections. But in the meantime, we want your money. There's a, there's a question over there, a, a hand waving. And, We've been and, and the I want to tell you why I want your money. So that uh, if there's one person in this country that, man, that has got uh, the experience, uh, practical experience, of getting people behind him. It's it's Herman Mashawa. 1985, I started Black Like Me. In the time when, as a black man, I was not allowed, and I decided, I decided to go into manufacturing, not to be a distributor. Competing with white companies, big ones, blocked uh, the, 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 uh, the companies from uh, keeping my products. As I indicated to you, Five years later, I had the number one brand in the country. So uh, if there's someone who's got the practical example of uh, getting people behind him, it's Herman Mashama. Look at Action SA's performance in the, in, in the 2021 local government elections. Contesting six municipalities, emerging as the sixth biggest political party in, in the country with 550 votes in only six municipalities. So what proof do you still want? So give me the money to make sure that I can get the 36 million people to go and vote. Two more. Got people, I can put people right on the street to make sure that we can get more people to go. Okay, two more questions. Please keep um, them short. Uh, yeah. Carry on, carry on, carry on. Uh, thank you. Uh, Herman Mashab is one of my heroes. Uh, thank you for being in South African politics. First, the first question is, are you aware of how much property in South Africa is quietly being bought up by Chinese people in Mongozi, Maputo land, in Peter Maritzburg, uh, in Jacobs, in Durban, industrial properties. Uh, so that's the first question. The second uh, question is, I come from KwaZulu Natal. 18 months ago, too, we had a, an insurrection by the communists supporting Jacob Zuma. How sure are you that we may not see the same attempt if the ANC is defeated in the elections in next year? Thank you, Grant. Okay, look, the, the first question in terms of not really knowing properties being bought by the Chinese, I wouldn't know because I'm not in national government. Uh, uh, so I, I, I wouldn't really have uh, that uh, information. That's why when I was the mayor, I embarked on uh, that massive, um, what I call the inner city rejuvenation project, where I, I was going for abandoned derelict uh, buildings. By the time I left uh, the city of Joburg, I'd already, ident in the three years, identified 600 properties managed uh, to to, uh, to give uh, back almost uh, 200 properties back to the rightful owners. 154 properties, we gave them to the private sector to develop uh, affordable accommodation for our people. So I can only give you a practical example of already uh, of, uh, of um, what I know. By the way, the second question... The second question is on the riots, uh, the KwaZulu-Natal riots. Oh, yes, the question of the riots. 
Another practical example I can give you, um, if you remember when I took over the city of Johannesburg, um, it's in the book, um, I can tell you the ANC, Communist Party and Kosatu, they were there literally every week um, disrupting, causing havoc. JMPD um, was run by, by ANC Kader. By the time I left, uh, the city in, uh, in three years, uh, unfortunately, I could not uh, serve uh, my full term. By that time, I had GMPD on my side. We had no longer all the nonsense of the ANC, of the ANC coming to directly disrupt. So, do, 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 uh, does the ANC have control over our law enforcement agencies? Yes, at the moment, they've got a political control. But one thing for sure is that the the ANC does not really have uh, support uh, with the law with the with the with the with the police. I can tell you the biggest beneficiary of or the biggest support base HNSA is going to get is from our from our armed forces, from the from metropolis all over the country, from uh, the, the South African police and everywhere. The biggest support you can ever get. Yesterday coming here. Uh, the police uh, stopped us uh, somewhere in the in the, uh, uh, in, the, in the free state, and we were wondering how come we were stopped. Um, we obviously just checking the uh, the vehicle. Immediately, I didn't see the lady who stopped us. We just wanted uh, to see the driver's license and the card disc, and all of a, all of a sudden, she recognized who I am. Called their her colleagues. They all that uh, that the came, they stopped everything. Said, "You are our last hope." <laughs> the police, uh, you can really be assured, you, you you. That's where you're gonna get uh, most of your your support from. Herman Bashava, it's been wonderful having you back again. Look forward to the next time, and thank you as as always for speaking your mind and for speaking it forthrightly and for being prepared to to get this coalition or help to get this coalition back on track because there really is no alternative. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much.